Hello, in this video we're going to go over IMC 2022 problem number 3. So the question is asking you to find f of p mod p, where f of p is defined this way. You have a prime number p if flea is staying at point 0 of the real line at each minute the flea has three possibilities. Either it stays at that position or it moves one unit to the right or one unit to the left after p minus one minutes it wants to be at zero again. f of p is the number of ways that this can be done. And the question is what is f of p mod p? Okay, so the way you want to think about this one is if you are staying um, at zero and you want to come back to zero you have to go k units to the right, k units to the left and then you have to stay where you are. Okay, so what I did first was I evaluated this one for different values of p and I ended up getting different numbers for different values of p. So for example, for p equals 2, you have just one possibility which is just staying there. If you take p equals 3, they gave us that in fact, but the way you can evaluate this one is either you stay right there or you go one unit to the right, one unit to the left. One left, one right, or you have no left and right and you just have two stays at the same place. So that gives you f of 3 equals 3. And when you take that mod p, you get, so this mod 2 would be 1, this mod 3 would be 0. If you evaluate this mod 5, f of, uh, f of 5, you have four moves that you are taking because it's p minus 1 minutes. So you either have no moving at all, or you have one left, one right, two stays, two left and two right. The first one gives you one, the second one gives you permutations of four letters, four factorial over one factorial, one factorial, two factorial, and the last one is four factorial over two factorial, two factorial. And if you evaluate this one mod 5, you end up getting negative 1. So I have done this calculation before and it ends up being negative 1. If you evaluate this for p equals 7, f of 7 ends up being, and if you evaluate this one with the same way, uh, mod 7 ends up being 1. If you do it for p equals 11, you get f of 11 is mod 11 is negative 1. And p equals 13 gives you f of 13 is 1 mod 13. So you might think that it is alternating um, from 1 to negative 1, 1 to negative 1, 1 to negative 1. However, that doesn't really make a lot of sense typically because in in uh, prime numbers there's not a lot of pattern in there. It must depend on something else. When I also noticed that um, for 3 I got 0, I thought maybe this has something to do with mod 3. And when I looked at the pattern here, it looks like the pattern is for this one, 5 is 2 mod 3. This one, 11 is also 2 mod 3. For this one, 7 is 1 mod 3. And for this one, 13 is also 1 mod 3. So I realized that maybe it has something to do with the prime being 1 or 2 mod 3. Then I started writing down the formula for the number of ways this can be done for f of p and then I did some calculation and I was actually able to finally get the final answer. So let's get to the solution. So assume the flea moves k times to the left k times to the right and it stays at its position the rest of the times. So this can be done in You have p minus 1 minutes, so p minus 1 factorial, but k of the moves are to the right, so divided by k factorial, 
k of them are to the left divided by k factorial and the rest which is p minus 1 minus 2k can be must be divided by p minus 1 minus 2k factorial now i'm going to evaluate this one mod p so f of p becomes the sum k equals 0 to the maximum possibilities if is p minus 1 over 2 and this one is p minus 1 factorial over k factorial k factorial p minus 1 minus 2k factorial and this one is for p odd because if p is even p minus 1 over 2 doesn't doesn't make sense so if p is odd I'll have to take care of the case when p is two separately but that's something we already have done so that's not really a big deal now what I did was I thought okay so I have to basically evaluate this f of p mod p so I'm going to work mod p so everything is going to be mod p from here on so we will um, evaluate f of p in zp field of integers mod p okay so the numerator can be simplified with p minus 1 minus 2 factorial let's just look at the p minus 1 factorial over k factorial squared times p minus 1 minus 2 k factorial and we will simplify the denominator by canceling the common terms we get p minus 2 k and then p minus 2k plus 1 all the way to p minus 1. Dropping all the p's and again I'm looking at this one everything is in a field um, mod p. Denominator is k factorial squared I'm gonna drop all the p's I get minus 2k minus 2k plus 1 all the way to minus 1. There are 2k negative 1s in the numerator and that's 2k factorial over k factorial squared. Okay, so this is 2k factorial over k factorial squared. It's possible that some of this calculation that I'm doing at this point could be simplified, but this is simple enough for me that I didn't really have to, I didn't really think about, oh, let's find a simpler solution. So I'm going to split up the product of the numbers from 1 to 2k into all the even ones and then all the odd ones. So odd ones are going to be 1, 3, all the way to 2k minus 1. And the denominator can be simplified. So if you look at this product, this is 2 to the k times k factorial. And then there's a k factorial squared at the bottom. And I'm going to keep this for now. And then I was really hoping that I can turn this one into a binomial. And then I can use some form of binomial formula or something like that. And that was actually possible to do. I'm going to cancel the k factorial. Then I'm going to say, take a p and subtract from all of these. So I'm going to replace these with p minus 1, p minus 3, all the way to p minus 2k plus 1. But then everything has been negated, so I'm going to put a negative 1 to the power of k here. And I'm going to, since all of these are odd, I'm going to divide everything by 2. That gives me 4 to the k, p minus 1 over 2 p minus 3 over 2 all the way to p minus 2k plus 1 over 2 and then the, I'm gonna put the negative sign in front over k factorial now this is negative 4 to the power of k this expression right here is a product of k consecutive integers starting from p minus 1 over 2 going down k times so that's in fact a binomial Okay, very good. So therefore, f of p, if you take that mod p, is the sum k equals 0 to p minus 1 over 2, because that was exactly what f of p was at the beginning. And I found out that this is just negative 4 to the power of k, p minus 1 over 2, choose k. Now, this is exactly the binomial formula for 1 minus 4 to the power of p minus 1 over 2. Okay, so f of p mod p is just negative 3 to the power of p minus 1 over 2. 
Okay, now I have to simplify this. I'm going to do that using a little bit of number theory. This is negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2, and then 3 to the power of p minus 1 over 2. <clears throat> 3 to the power of p minus 1 over 2 is 1 if 3 is a quadratic residue, and it is negative 1 if 3 is not a quadratic residue. So I'm going to use a uh, Legendre symbol here. Um, that is called mod p. This is called Euler's criterion. Okay, so if I um, if I use now the quadratic reciprocity, so by the uh, quadratic reciprocity, three over p is negative one to the power of three minus one over two, p minus one over two, p over three which is, so negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2, it is 1 if p is 1 mod 3. And it is negative 1 if p is negative 1 mod 3. And I'm going to have to check p equals 3 separately. Okay, so therefore, f of p mod uh, mod p is going to be, I'll have to multiply what I found here by negative 1 to the power of p minus 1 over 2. So this is going to be 1 and negative 1 if p is 1 mod 3 and if p is negative 1 mod 3. And we also have shown that f of 2 is 1 which is also 1 mod 2. And in fact, it is also negative 1 mod 2. So it does match what we have here. And f of 3 is 0 mod 3. So the final answer would be the same thing, except that I'm going to add a 3 here. 0 if p is 3. So that would be our final answer. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave comments below this video and tell me what you would like me to make videos about. I am going to be making a video on quadratic reciprocity and some of the stuff that I talked about here so that you are comfortable with those theorems and those techniques that are going to be used. So I will see you in another video.